you are making your way to go fish the Rio Grande Gorge, more often than not, the drive-in is going to be the easiest part of your day. There's several places to access the Rio Grande Gorge, but my favorite sections are just about an hour north of Taos. Now, even though Taos is most widely known for its skiing and snowboarding, don't be fooled. This little mountain town has some of the best fly fishing in the entire state of New Mexico, just in its backyard. Now it should be said, if you're willing to be a vanguard at the dashboard light, you will no doubt be rewarded with a southwest sunrise that is sure to take the breath away. And like I mentioned earlier, there are many different places where you can access the river itself. But be warned, not all access points are made equal. Today, however, I find myself on a massive chunk of BLM land known as the Rio Grande del Norte Monument. Within all this public land, there are well-maintained trails down to the river, and this morning, I found myself on the Big Arsenic Trail. And even if you have no desire to fish the river, this massive piece of public land offers incredible year-round opportunities for hikers, campers, and sightseers alike. Once you step foot into the valley floor, pay close attention to where you're walking. You may notice a surprising number of crystal clear cold water springs seeping out of the rift and into the river. This reliable source of cold, clean water is the foundation that this world-class fishery is built off of. Without it, the number and average size of fish per mile would be nowhere near what it is now. Once you make your way down to the river, it should go without saying that you need to mind your step and try your best not to slip and fall. This isn't meant to scare you, this is purely meant to prepare you for what the Rio Grande is going to throw your way. Occasionally you'll find a small footpath or even game trail that will parallel the river, and this allows for some easy walking. But the vast majority of this river is made up of basalt boulders, which are extremely slippery and can be quite precarious to maneuver around. All I ask is that you take your time and move with care. Get up and over those boulders and eventually that path will flatten right out. Well, the skunk is off with a beautiful, beautiful caddis muncher. You can see under his little chinny chin there, he's got a little bit of orange. So this guy, this is a cut bow, that's pretty sweet. Oh, that's awesome, that's so cool. Well, a great way to start, let's get him back. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be a little hard to hear me right here, 
But that, ladies and gentlemen, that is an October hopper bite. And not just any hopper bite, that is an adjustable dry dropper. I'll get into that in a sec. Let's get this little guy back. Woo! Woo! <laughs> See ya, buddy. Wow, that is so awesome. Late October hopper bite. <laughs> That's so cool. For those of you who have been around for a while, you know what I'm talking about, and I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself. For those of you who are new, I would like to introduce you to the adjustable dry dropper. You see that? We're adjusting our little hopper here while still being able to fish with our nymph and adjust depths. I mean, if you haven't seen the video yet, go check it out. I've always got it linked and, oh, <laughs> that's so awesome. That gets me so hyped. After getting our first few fish to the net, it was clear to see that the morning action was really starting to heat up. These fish were hungry and Bouncing from pocket to pocket like this, it can seem like a lot of work, but don't worry, all the effort put in is usually rewarded with at least a fish or two. Now, as you can see, there are many different trout species swimming in the Rio. The majority of these trout are made up of wild brown trout, and they're really fun to catch, but you will occasionally find rainbows and cutthroat, and their hybrid species, the cutbow. And you'll know when you get one of these cutthroat or rainbows because they fight like the dickens and they'll make sure to jump at least a time or two for you. It should be said that not every hole will have active fish, but it's always worth a try. Give it a couple casts and just see for yourself. Now that we had made it to the Big Bend, it was clear to see that the midday sun was really starting to heat up the gorge. The wind was whipping in every direction and it had some serious force behind it. And no matter how hard I tried, there was no fight in this win. We were just out of luck. But the locals seemed to have the right idea to find a warm rock and just hunker down. Well, that is most certainly our nicest brown of the day. I'm pretty happy with that one. Give you one last look at this snaky brown. Nice fish. <laughs> we'll see him back. Say you, sir. Yo, be out of here. Let's go, man. That's what I'm talking about. Consolation prize, there we go. path started to get bumpy again as we rounded the bend. We were about to go through another rough, rough section, but this was good news for us because these rougher sections are usually where the bigger fish like to hide.
There we go. That's a bit of a bit. Woo! That's what we're freaking looking for. Yes! For the fish, this section of the Rio Grande Gorge is like living at a cafeteria mixed with a gymnasium. They get to get fat and plumpy and pump dumbbells every day of the week. So the bigger fish in this stream are strong and they know how to fight. They'll run you around boulders and they will dig and dig and dig. You really gotta be on your game to get through and get to the end of that fight. Are you having enough, mister? Yeah, there we go. Come on, baby. There we go. That is our first uh, sizable real grand bow of the afternoon. Oh, he is feisty. Good Lord, he have mercy. Whew. God, it feels good. Feels good to get into the net. That was a fun fight, too. Whew. All right. It's time to get this guy back. Just one last look at him there. Like it's nothing. I really haven't talked about my rig much today. I've been in kind of a time crunch. I'm, I'm on a big uh, stretch of the Rio Grande between two paths and I'm trying to make it there by sundown so I'm not stopping too long. I'm, I'm kind of hopscotching along, looking for good pools, kind of like this one. But this is what I've caught most of my fish on. So I've got a uh, real teeny tiny midge guy with a rare sight, a split shot. But we, what we got that guy on was this weird hunk of feathers right there. They say that crane fly larvae, I think it is, crane fly, um, they're real big in the Rio Grande. And I guess that's somewhat of an imitation of it. And yeah, of course, under the New Zealand strike indicator. Whew, man, that felt good. That felt good to get to the net. We've been, uh, not small fish, but that's by far our biggest. So that's, that's really nice, man. All right, <laughs> fish this hole. Time to keep hiking. The end of our day was getting closer and closer in sight. You could say we were in the fourth quarter. And let me tell you folks, my legs were feeling it. The full wrath of the Rio Grande Gorge was felt in my quads, but so far the juice had certainly been worth the squeeze because we continued to have an excellent session through this bouldery and riffly stuff. Fish were holding tight to the pockets and it seemed like every good drift resulted in a beautiful, beautiful fish. This feisty Rio Grande bow was absolutely gorgeous and it was a perfect cap to this riffly and bouldery section. Because after we let him go, it was just a few boulder hops to a nice, flat, open section that offered our legs a little bit of reprieve in a pretty rough day. I would deem that a midge munching son of a gun. Great little fish, man. This afternoon's really starting to pick up. We're gonna get this guy back. See ya, sir. Woo! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh 
Oh my god! That was kind of anticlimactic. You didn't really fight. <laughs> what the hell just happened? Wow. I'm not quite sure what happened there. That was a very odd fight. We hooked him, and I think we just managed to keep his head above the surface long enough for him to like freak the hell out and just come right towards me. Cause we, I mean, we bagged this guy super, super quick. I bet he's gonna be super spunky, but let's let's try and get a look at this guy. Oh my God. <laughs> that is such a nice fish. Yo, wow, is that a nice fish or what? Holy cow, he's like kiped up and everything. Oh, yes, dude, that's so sick. Oh, hello, okay. All right, <laughs> I think it's time to let this fella go. See ya! <laughs> yeah, dude, let's freaking go! That is so hype! Woo! <laughs> Amazing! <laughs> wow, that was such an anticlimactic fight, but that, yeah, I tell you, I don't even know what you would call this. It's not like an actual pattern. I, I don't know what the hell it's called, but that is what we got him on. And as you can see, there's a little bend in that boy. <laughs> he is a big son of a gun. <laughs> Oh my gosh, that was sick. That's the fish we're looking for right there. That makes the entire day, well, more than worth it. That's so cool. Oh man, I find myself in a bit of a predicament. And the best way to describe it would be the, the old joke about the dumb blonde stranded on an island. You know what I mean. Swims halfway to safety, gets tired, and then swims back. Well, I have far overextended myself, and the canyon that we were running through, that section kicked my ass, and I, I'll tell you what, we were slow going through it. So it is <laughs> right at three o'clock, and I have another three miles to where my extraction point originally was gonna be, but since we're moving so slow, I think this might be our last hole, and I'm gonna try and, I'm gonna try and scramble out of the <laughs> Rio Grande Gorge. <laughs> Not advisable, <laughs> but let's try, and, let's try and get one more fish to send home before we, uh, yeah, say R.I.P. <laughs> there we go. That's a fish. <laughs> Whew, I think we have pressed our luck enough. Well, we got the last fish. Time to break down. Get packed up, smoke them <laughs> if we got them. And yeah, that's what we're going up. Ooh, uh, yeah, right there. Very fun. Holy shit. Oh my god. Yeah, we just did that. Wow. That's a feeling and a half. Oh. Wow, can you believe that hike out? That was just the cherry on top of an already incredible day. I mean, that's one that I'm gonna remember for a long, long time. And before we do the whole outro, I just gotta stop and give a huge shout out to Visit Taos. I mean, a place like Taos is perfect for any adventure, really any season. They have outdoor activities spanning from 
every single season and they have the amenities to support whatever style of adventure you're trying to do. Be it a family or like myself, a solo trip. They, they really do have it all. And the cultural side, the, the, the social side of it, it is one of the coolest little mountain towns this side of the Rockies. And I think, I think you should give it a look. And if you wanna kind of explore and see what Taos has to offer, I've got all their social link down below and of course their website. So go give it a look. And if you're planning a cheeky trip to Taos, definitely make sure to go hit the gorge. If not to fish, at least just to go see it and the, the beauty and magnitude that it is. But enough rambling from me. Let's kick it back stream side and close out this video. Well, 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 if you're seeing this, that means you've made it to the end of the video. And like always, I just gotta say thank you so much for enjoying these. And thank you so much for being a part of yeah, the Fly All Season community. This channel is growing super quick and it's just, I don't know, I'm, re I'm really stoked on it. But if you too are stoked on Fly All Season, I got, I got some good news for you. Two quick things, as always, the Instagram and the Discord, you know what's happening over there. Fishy picks, fishy convos, I mean, come on. Get on the Discord while you still can. I mean, the guys and gals over there are super awesome and are always talking shop. One other quick thing, well, maybe two, gotta give a couple quick shout outs. One being Ant, you know me, I'm rocking, I'm rocking the Ant as always. And, whew, fresh new gear from the Dry Fly Society coming in clutch. So go check them out and folks, wherever you find yourself, be it in the Rio Grande Gorge or in your living room, I sure hope you're keeping those feet in the water. Well, not in your living room. <laughs> and until next time, tight lines.